Last year, actress Eva Longoria was finally able to unload her massive Hollywood host compound after trying for 2.5 years, and it used to belong to Tom Cruise. Not to worry though, she bought her current Beverly Hills mansion in 2017 to upgrade to. Aside from the 11,000 plus square foot home she lives in, Eva has owned some of the nicest mansions you could imagine over the years. It's said her property portfolio includes everything from a spot in Malibu to a home in San Antonio, Texas, and more. In this video, we'll check out three of her mansions, past and present. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Eva Longoria Baston is an actress and producer who was first recognized for her role as Isabella on the CBS soap opera The Young and the Restless, which she starred in from 2001 to 2003. Then, Eva went on to her best known role in a show that I was obsessed with no less, Desperate Housewives, where she played Gabrielle Solis. For this role, Eva received nominations for Golden Globes and more. After the show wrapped up, she appeared in some films and some other TV shows, as well as serving as an executive producer on other series like Devious Me. Eva has been named one of Hollywood's most beautiful women over the years and has amassed a net worth of $80 million or more. These days, she's married to businessman Jose Baston and they share a son. While for most, LA's high-end real estate market was halted due to the pandemic, last year Eva still managed to sell her huge compound in Hollywood Hills that once belonged to Tom Cruise. The sprawling compound hangs over world-famous Mulholland Drive and while she said goodbye to this place, she'd already moved into her contemporary mansion in Beverly Hills. This gorgeous family home spans 11,000 square feet, but that's far from the only property Eva owns. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're taking a look at where Eva Longoria calls home with her family, like her current luxury estate in LA and more. As you know, here we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered what Lil Uzi Bird is spending on his new face diamond implant? Or about Justin Bieber's one of a kind new whip, we recently started a brand new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. Join us and be one of the first to subscribe, you don't want to miss this. But that's not even the only watch McGregor picked up during his recent shopping spree. He also bought another timepiece from Jacobs & Co, this time in a more X-rated flavor. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. First up, let's take a look at a triple story home Eva sold back in 2018. This wasn't just any mansion, it was the longtime residence of the actress where she lived for over a decade, and it was located in the historic Hollywood Dell neighborhood. This area winds through the foothills between Hollywood and the Hollywood Reservoir, while the property is sad hillside. At the time, Eva was recently married to her now husband and expecting their first child, so it was time to make a change, asking over $3.7 million for the home. The contemporary Mediterranean, as it was described, offered six beds and nine baths with an 8,602 square feet of space. The three floors inside were linked by a circular wrought iron staircase, while outside, a thick hedge surrounded the property and blocked the estate from the street. Hidden behind that hedge, Eva's former spot had a plunge pool, spa, and stone tile courtyard, as well as a terrace with outdoor kitchen and barbecue to round out the yard. All of this overlooked the surrounding mountains. Eva picked up the home for $3.6 million back in 2008, and main living spaces sat on the middle level, one of which was a combo living and dining room with two fireplaces and wood trimmed glass doors leading to a wraparound balcony. The nearby kitchen was spacious and well equipped with a super sized center island and a compact breakfast nook. All guest bedrooms here were en suite, while Eva's master offered a fireplace, sitting area, two custom fit celebrity style walk in closets, and a fancy bathroom bathroom with gas fireplace, jetted garden tub, and glass steam shower. The partially underground lower level boasted a state-of-the-art screening room with a projection system and cozy sofas, as well as a cave-like family room with massive wet bar that had a couple of windows looking into the swimming pool. While Eva bought her current home in Beverly Hills in 2017, which we'll take a look at really soon, at the end of 2018, the actress was attempting to unload yet another one of her properties. This multi-acre compound located 
located high up in the Hollywood Hills just above the Sunset Strip, formerly belonged to Tom Cruise, and Eva scooped it up around 2015 for $11.4 million. While Eva optimistically listed the home for $14 million at the end of 2018, it would take her over 2.5 years to finally get rid of the place, and with a final price of $8.25 million, it was at a $3.2 million loss. The compound spanned three acres of land and boasted two houses with seven bedrooms and nine baths throughout. As I mentioned, the estate has a pedigreed ownership because not only did Eva live here, but Tom Cruise long owned it before her. And fun fact, they say he never used it as a primary residence, but it was suspected to function as some sort of Scientology retreat. The mansion resembles an old world country estate in Tuscany, and the main residence is a European style villa with wide plank hardwood floors, three ensuite bedrooms, and a chef's kitchen with designer appliances. The guest house or second structure has another four bedrooms and impressively upgraded kitchen too. Aside from these two self-contained homes here, the property additionally includes two detached studios and a small stone cottage with a completely tiled interior, fireplace, and high-end kitchen. Eva's former property was laced with stone pathways to connect the buildings, and there are also stone terraces all over boasting panoramic mountain, canyon, and city views. A wooden bridge crosses over the impressive lagoon-style swimming pool, and elsewhere there's a greenhouse. Listing materials indicate the compound was offered with another parcel of land just outside the driveway gates, as well as an approved plan for a major remodel of the entire estate. Designed by acclaimed architect Mark Rios, the proposed plans showed a modernized version of the existing compound with an expanded main house and new pool complex. While I'm sure Eva was disappointed on the multi-million dollar loss when selling the Tom Cruise compound, at least she could dry her tears in her new contemporary Beverly Hills mansion. In 2017, 17, Eva spent $13.5 million on a brand new home, which is where she currently lives. And the nearly 1.5 acre estate is located down a private lane above the posh Benedict Canyon. There's a freshly renovated 11,000 plus square foot modern looking mansion boasting six family bedrooms, two staff bedrooms, eight full baths, and two half baths. Interior features include soaring ceiling, steel custom doors, and oversized windows throughout. Eva, her husband Jose, and their son have plenty of room to roam here, with several living and family rooms, one of which is located on the second floor, and elsewhere there's a media room and a gorgeous office with private terrace. The home has both formal and informal living areas on the ground floor, which feature high ceilings, rich oak floors, and a muted neutral color scheme. One of these rooms is furnished with large plush sofas and chairs, and is ideal for entertaining as it opens to the garden and pool area. Not only is there a spacious chef's kitchen, but there's also a separate kitchen catering kitchen. The main kitchen is fitted with top of the line appliances, including a double oven and dishwasher, all offering beautiful views out into the garden. There are four stools lined along the breakfast bar, so even Jose can easily grab a quick bite to eat there if they don't want to go into the more formal dining room next door. In Eva's home, there's also a wine room, which features a wine store and two seats for tasting. The actress has spoken about her love of wine and even has her own range of wine-themed t-shirts, so it seems like this is the perfect room for her to relax when the mood strikes. Eva's luxury master suite has its own private den and bar, as well as his and hers bathrooms and walk-in wardrobes. The bedroom also boasts a king-size bed, fitted fireplace, and views of Beverly Hills. The bathroom is ideal for Eva to get ready for the red carpet, offering a freestanding tub, glass walk-in shower, and large vanity area with spotlights overhead. Custom lit and protected by top-of-the-line security system, the resort-style grounds surrounding the mansion have every amenity, from the large motor court and four car attached garage to the tennis court. Then the Baja pool and spa is located across from the full pool house with bathroom and the yard also boasts an outdoor kitchen. With gorgeous canyon views all around, it's clear that no house guests would ever want to leave. Eva has one gorgeous property. All right, so I think that's all I got for the homes of Eva Longoria. After checking out three of her estates, two that she formerly owned and her current spot in Beverly Hills, what did you guys think? I think the actress has amazing taste in real estate to say the least and her classy home suit her personality. If I had to choose, I kind of like that former Tom Cruise rumored Scientology compound in Hollywood best. Whatever it was, the property was amazing with a gorgeous main house and a charming cottage vibe throughout. I'd love to live there and if it were me, I probably wouldn't even want to modernize it. How about you guys? Feel free to rate Eva's homes in the comments down below or let me know what features you like best. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to my personal channel, we'll link you my latest video. Wait, 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 did she just say she's 18 years old? Oh my gosh, 18?
I am shook. I thought she was like my age. She's a Gemini like me. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.